What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing if running a full crit build or full crit centric build on Boot Hill is going to be viable. Is it going to be better? Is it going, is it going to be worse than just running a full break effect build? Just a little bit of a disclaimer, Boot Hill is a break character, so definitely break is going to be better. But it seems to me that he's going to be very reliant on his signature light cone because it has break effect on it. It's the only light cone that has break effect on it that actually works with the hunt character and also gives defense ignore on break damage. So it's actually really, really strong on Boot Hill. But for those people who are not going to get the S1 for our boy Boot Hill, what other options do you have and how does his damage compare or how high or how low his damage is going to be that's what we're going to be exploring in today's video that being said if you enjoy this type of content let me know by liking the video leaving a comment in the comment section below and consider subscribing to the channel we're getting really really close to 8,000 subs on our way to 10k so help your boy out by hitting the subscribe button without further ado let's get right into the video so what we're going to do with this video is build our boy boot hill from scratch as you can notice he has zero on everything no rolls no relics no nothing like that we're going to build him from scratch all he has is 18 percent attack from his trace and 37.3 percent break effect from his trace we're going to go step by step building a crit build or crit hybrid build um uh, boot hill with the cruising in the center seat light cone because this is actually a very decent light cone and like i mentioned in my previous video any light cone that you can get that increases his crit damage is actually going to be very beneficial for him if you're not going for his, for his s1 his s1 is by far the best light cone like the s1 by itself gives him 60 percent break effect gives him uh what six percent crit rate and 30 percent crit damage this is actually an insane light cone defense reduction and speed uh, it's just an insane light cone. So if you're going to go for the S1, this video is probably not for you. But for those people who just want one copy of Boot Hill or just get lucky on a cheeky single, this is the video that's going to help you build like uh, build him up. So I was browsing relic sets to make this video and I came across three relic sets that actually are going to help Boot Hill deal a little bit more damage, obviously aside from the break sets. So the first one obviously is going to be the Musketeer of Wild Weed to give some speed, attack, and basic damage increase because his enhanced basic is actually going to be a very important key role and it's going to be the attack that you're going to be doing the most so naturally increasing that attack is going to yield a lot of damage right the second set is going to be the physical set which gives you 10 percent uh physical damage and it can increase your attack up to 25 percent um when it's all maxed out so this is a really really good one and then the last set is going to be the pioneer set believe it or not because he actually has two debuffs that he implants and uh the first one is the standoff the standoff actually counts as a debuff because they he gives him a 30 percent vulnerability to a boot hills attack so that counts and then whenever you do that your enhanced basic attack is going to be increased by the pioneer set also the weakness implantation the physical weakness implantation also counts as a debuff that he implants so he's going to take full advantage of this set gives him 12 percent damage bonus for the two sets so that's already better than both of these and then the four piece gives you four percent crit rate and uh up to 24 percent crit damage so if you use it to its full potential you can get up to 32 percent crit value just from this and in my opinion that's probably going to end up being a little better than these two uh we're going to calculate uh the pioneer set because i think it's probably going to end up being the best i will make a full calculation and set relic set video that's going to be later for the purposes of this video since we are running a crit build i think this set is probably going to end up being uh better because it gives us better crit stats as far as planar sets the only three planar sets that give you actually any crit value are going to be rudolin arena which is going to enhance your crit rate and also enhance your basic uh, attack damage the second one's going to be the inert salsoto which also gives you eight percent crit rate and this one will enhance your ultimate damage for boot hill and the last one it's not a crit set however it does enhance his crit and is going to be talia k never banditry if you max the if you get 145 speed with uh your boot hill you're going to be getting an extra 36 percent um break effect and that is going to convert to 18 percent crit damage and about three four percent crit uh, rate so all of these three are going to end up uh, giving you a little bit of crit value we uh for the purposes of this video we're going to start off with the Rudolin arena because the ultimate damage even though it has a really high multiplier you're not going to be doing it as much or as frequent as you're going to be doing your enhanced basic so if we end up being short on break effect then we might have to swap it over for here because this gives you only like 3.5 less crit rate so if we can't make the 70 percent crit uh, ratio 
that we need for Ritalin Arena to activate, we're going to have to swap it over to the Talic Kinder Benetry so we can actually get some crit value out of our planar set. So, but for now, we're going to do the uh, Ritalin Arena. And then as previously discussed, we're going to, with the Cruising the Stellar Sea, which is the free to play harder shop. Light Cone is going to give us 16% crit rate and then an extra 16% crit rate if the enemy is at 50% HP or less. And then if we defeat an enemy, which he kind of needs to, you're going to start off with Boot Hill defeating smaller enemies so you can uh, get your uh, three stacks, your, uh, what is the trick shot stacks? You're going to get your, your trick shot stacks up by killing small enemies and thus you're going to be activating your cruising in the stellar sea so this is a really this is really a fantastic light cone for him gives him crit value gives him attack he needs attack yeah really good light cone so let's start adding all these things up okay first thing the pioneer set is going to give us is 12 percent damage bonus over here the second thing is going to be extra four percent crit rate so let's add the four percent it's going to bring it to nine percent and then because he's implanting the debuffs when he's doing the attacks most of the time he's going to get a 24 percent increase in crit damage so that we can actually uh let's add it onto this one so it's going to be 74 percent crit damage over here so off the bat is going to give us a little bit of extra damage secondly our uh Rudland arena uh is going to give us eight percent crit rate right so we have 17 percent crit rate plus the four we don't have the second part of the Rudland arena active because we haven't reached 70 percent crit rate yet but we will get there let's say cruising in the stellar sea is going to give us uh, 520 from the light cone, which I already put in there. And it's also going to give us 16% crit rate. This is going to jump this up to 33, I think. Yeah, 33. Already at 37% crit rate. And then the attack this is going to give us is going to increase it by two by, by 20%. So let's go over here. Light cone was do 20% over here in the light cone. Our attack is going to be increased by 20%. Okay. Now that we added all these three things, we're going to go over the uh, base attack or the attack increases. We are going to run a crit rate chest so for the crit rate chest we're going to get a 32.2 increase in our crit rate so 33 plus 32 is going to be 65.2 percent crit rate and as you can notice it's already at 69 percent actually let's let's make this a little bit better let's format these two so we have at least one decimal point in there and then that way we are pretty much certain of what we have right, right now we have 68.9 percent uh crit rate so we're really short of adding the Ritalin arena and remember, if we have the enemy at 50% HP or lower, Rudolin Arena is going to activate. So we can actually make it for certain that uh, Rudolin Arena is going to be activating with a crit rate chest. And with the crit rate chest, uh, the basic for the enhanced basic is going to get increased damage by 20%. We, we are not going to put it here because it doesn't apply to all damage. We're just going to add it onto the formula over here. So, okay, the 20% is already added. As you can see, it's right here on the top. I already added the 20% up there because we know for a fact that it's going to get to 70% because it's already at 69. We still haven't even added the uh, substats that we can possibly roll, which I'm going to just give it one crit rate roll on every stat that can have it. So it, it's 2.5 times five, which is about 13, I think. So we're gonna add 13 to this. So if we add 2.6 crit rate per relic stat that can have it, that's going to be five relics that can have crit rate at 2.5. That's one roll per relic. It's a, it, you're going to get an extra 13 crit rate, which we're going to add here, which is going to bring this to 78.2. So already our uh, crit rate is pretty high. So we might actually get away. If we get our break effect high enough, we may actually get away with swapping this to a crit rate body. So let's see how that works out. Okay. So chest is already done. Chest is going to be a crit rate chest. Okay. For boots, we're going to treat him as a regular DPS and regular DPS, especially single target DPSs, they tend to be ran with Branya or Sparkle. So these are going to be attack boots that we're going to put in here. And then the orb, we're also going to be putting an attack orb. And then the rope obviously is going to be a break effect rope. And the reason we want a break effect rope is because if you look at this, uh, column over here this actually the bottom column over here watch what happens when we add 68 64.8 break effect you get an extra 10 crit rate and 51 percent crit damage which brings our total crit damage to about 125 and our total crit rate to about 88 percent and this is not even close to being done we still have 200 extra break effect that we can add on to this so this crit rate and crit damage can possibly go uh higher like way higher all right we're gonna go ultra conservative with the substats roll for attack so let's say you get one roll of attack per relic that can have it so we have two different uh relics that have attack main so those can have it so it's, it's gonna be 6.9 times four we're gonna get an extra 27.6 in subs 27 0.6 and subs from substats that's going to bring our attack to 3300 almost 3400 which is pretty nice no relic set relic sets or planar sets they don't give us uh, any attack okay 
So our attack is going to cap out at about 3300. This is with this light cone. Relic sets and planner sets that do not increase your attack. Yeah, if we had Musket Zero Wobble, we would have an extra 12% attack. Or if we run the two uh, two piece while we two piece uh, prisoner, I think it is the the dot set, we can have an extra twenty four percent. So it just depends. But with the purposes of this video, everything that we want, we want to stack as much crit as possible. So that's why we didn't go with those. All right. So that kind of concludes it for our attack. Now let's take a look at our break effect. We still have a lot of stuff. Okay. So let's say break break effects up. So we're gonna go conservative again. Oh guys, I made a mistake. It's not six point nine for this. It's actually three point five. So three point five times four. Let's give it 14%, so it's about half. So 14%, 32, like it, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I just wanted to correct that mistake. For the break effect subs, we're going to assume that every piece has at least one roll in break effect, and that is, uh, I think it's 5.2, the minimum roll you can get. So it's 5.2 times five pieces, so it's about 26% break effect. So let's add that. That's only one roll per, per relic piece that can have break effect and since we're running the rope. Uh, it's only five pieces. Lyco doesn't give you any break effect. Relics doesn't give you any break effect. And we're not going to add any more bus into break effect. So we are actually capped out at 128 uh, break effect just for the trace stats and the subs and then the rope. But that that alone it gives us 12%, almost 13% crit rate and 64% crit damage. So right now we are sitting at 78% uh, crit rate plus the 13. So we are sitting at about... 91% crit rate, pretty good, 91% crit rate and 138% crit damage. So if we swap the crit rate body for a crit damage body, we would end up with this current ratio, we would end up with 58.6% crit rate, which means that we would need about 12% crit rate to make up to hit the 70% crit rate that we actually need. Um, is that more, so we, we can actually test out and see, we are at 20, at 2.2% crit multiplier, right? If we take away the crit rate piece and then put the crit damage piece, we're going to do 45.2, which is going to be uh, what we had, or 40, 42, 45.8, I'm sorry, 45.8 is going to be removing the crit rate body. And then we can add 64.8 over here. This is going to end up being at 138.8. And then our multiplier is a little lower. Uh, it's almost the same, but a little lower. But remember, we, we need 12 more crit rate. So let's say we actually get the crit rate, we need about 12 more. So let's give it 13 more. And we end up at 58% crit rate. Our crit our crit multiplier is actually going to go up if we actually balance it at 70%. So it's 2.44, and then the other one was 2.22. So actually with a crit damage body, if you can get 70% crit rate, it's actually going to be a little bit better than just running the uh, crit rate body. So, and just like that, we have our boot hill already built. And if we go down here to the damage table, his basic is gonna hit for about 4K, enhanced basic for about 13K. Damage is pretty abysmal, I'm not gonna lie. Ultimate is gonna hit for about 19, 20K. Break damage for 4, 000, uh, 42K. Uh, extra break damage at most, 71K. And if we add all of them together, let's take the super break out, let's put it in regular break. If you break, with your uh, enhanced basic attack, you're going to be hitting for about 127% crit damage. 127,000 damage, okay? Um, but that's not all because obviously we're going to run supports. All right, now that we got done building our boy Boot Hill, we have everything plugged in. We're going to start adding in the traditional crit or hyper carry supports that we usually have on every team. So the first one we're going to add is going to be Branya. Uh, it's a toss up between Branya and Sparkle. I personally prefer Sparkle because of the skill points and that way uh, Boot Hill allows himself to use as many skill points as he needs even though he doesn't really use that many he does uh the enhanced basic after he does the skill and he only needs to do his skill once every two turns if he doesn't kill the enemy but we're going to use Branya for this example and Branya with 180 percent crit damage mind you okay so Branya at 180 percent crit damage is going to be adding about 48.8 percent crit damage to our own crit damage so that's going to be 48.8 plus 138 8, and that's going to give us 187.6. So let's add that in here. 187.6 uh, also is going to give us a little a 55% attack. So let's actually put it. Uh, we're going to add it to the planner set. This, we're going to name this Branya or Buffs. We're going to name this Buffs, and then we're going to add this a 55% attack. And then also Branya is going to give you some 76% damage bonus because her skill gives you 66%. 66 
and then the uh, her passive gives you an extra 10, right? And then let's say the Branya is S1, or let's say, actually, you know, let's, let's take that back. Let's say Branya is running a, a regular free-to-play light cone, and then that light cone is past and future, which is Branya's probably Branya's best free-to-play option, in my opinion. So Branya rocking an S5 past and future is going to increase your damage dealt with her skill by an extra 32%. So let's add 32% as well as in here. So that's going to be 108%. And there we go. And that is everything that Branya is going to add. So let's go ahead and take a look at our damage. So our enhanced basic is going to hit for 304, uh, wait, 34,000. Our ultimate is going to hit for about 51,000. And our, obviously our break damage is actually not going to be increased that much because most of that damage is uh, off break and we, you know, Branya doesn't buff break at all, okay? All right, we're going to add another character that's going to buff uh, not only Boot Hill's damage, like regular crit damage, but is also going to buff his break damage. And that's going to be Ruan Mei. Ruan Mei off the cuff is going to give him 20% break effect, so his break damage is actually going to be going up also going to provide my boy with an extra 68 percent damage bonus if you have her at 180 percent break effect which everybody should so that's going to bring this up to 174 i think yeah 174 no 170 yeah 176 because it's 68 176 percent extra damage and then the rest pen that she provides also this is also going to affect our break damage but so uh off the cuff um our boys damage is going to go crazy and has basic attack is going to do 60k ultimate hitting for 88k break damage 57,000 and extra break damage and this actually triggers every single time so if let's say the enemy's already broken we can actually remove this break damage over here let's say we put it at zero right and then the damage that we're going to be doing every time we hit the enhanced basic attack um, when the enemy is already broken, it's going to be a hundred, uh, about 150k, which is actually no slouch. That, that That's pretty hefty damage, especially if you're boosting yourself up, like you're hitting him one time, and then you're boosting yourself up with uh, Branya right after. So that's going to be a really, really decent chunk of damage. So even while not maximizing your break effect, you're still going to be able to put out decent numbers, like not World Breaking, Akron, Bibber Lune, Jing Liu, none of those damage. None of that type of damage, but you're still going to be getting uh, yourself a, a decent chunk of damage, okay? All right, on the fourth slot, we can actually put whoever, because in this type of setup, Ruan Mei and Buddha are going to break the enemy so much, because he actually, with Ruan Mei's buff active, he actually has about 200 and, like, I don't know, it's like 200 something percent, either break, and free, break efficiency or toughness reducing damage. So his enhanced basic attack actually does 225 toughness damage which is an insane insane amount which is why he's actually really really good and really really strong with super break but we're not doing super break the enemy is going to be broken most of the time because he has just a fantastic and phenomenal and easy time breaking the enemy that you probably can get away with not running a sustain but since we're running a crit build and we are going to just assume that you're going to run a sustain because you don't want to die just in case something happens the best support for a crit build is going to be Fushuan because she actually gives you 12% crit rate, which right now we are at 84% crit rate. But with Fushuan, we can actually bring this up to about 70%, and that's going to actually bring it up to 84%, which is what I was saying. With Fushuan, uh, you get the cap of 70% crit rate with her 12% um, crit rate buff with her with her matrix of prescience and then 14.8 that gives us 84 percent crit damage i mean crit rate with like about 250 percent crit damage right here which is really really strong uh we're not going to take into consideration any light cones because we're not going to give fushuan her s1 because that would give that would actually increase the damage even more but we're not going to do that let's just assume fushuan just has like a shield uh light cone or whatever that doesn't increase any damage so with fushuan added on the team our final damage numbers are going to look the enhanced basic attack is going to hit for about 70k which is nothing nothing crazy we have like other characters that can hit for way more ultimate hits for about 98k uh break damage at 60k and super and not a super break extra break damage at three stacks hits for about 100k so if you can hit the enhanced basic attack into regular break into extra break you're going to be slapping for about a 218,000 damage and if you already broke the enemy, then uh, you're going to be hitting for about 160k damage. The damage is not um, insane. The damage is not crazy. The damage is not out of this world to where it justifies this build. Obviously, there are better light cones that give you a better crit value or better crit return than this one. But we are going for the most free-to-play 
crit build that you can have just in case you pull your boot hill and you don't go for a signature light cone you can do something like this and boot hill has such a, an amazing kit he's such well designed that you can still pull off numbers like 160k on a uh, non-optimal hit and with an optimal hit oh crap with the optimal hit you can actually bring that bad boy up to about 218,000. and this damage can vary because you may have your uh e1 e1 s1 run may you may have e1 s1 branya you may have s1 uh fushuan you may do huahua and you can shoot more ultimates off it can vary but uh, i'm gonna take this as a like a uh, Kind of like a floor, sort of. It's not really a floor because we're, we're taking into consideration Ruan Mei and Fushuan. But if you can mitigate, because not everybody's stats are going to be the same. If you can mitigate the stats to where the 12% crit rate from Fushuan you already have with your relics, then you can swap her out for a Hua Hua and get the same, pretty much the same benefit, but you get 40% extra attack and you get your ultimate way faster you could also run a gallagher because they're actually going to be breaking a lot and gallagher is going to increase his vulnerability multiplier by an extra i think is 12 percent if you don't run branya and you run sparkle obviously the buffs themselves are going to be a lot weaker but you're never going to have to worry about skill points so this video was just to show that uh crit boot hill is not i wouldn't say he's optimal i still think that building full break effect is going to be the way to go like just stack as much break effect as you can but the point is that in a crit build he is not going to suck tremendous. Like his damage is not going to just absolutely get destroyed to the point that he's not usable. Yes, with his signature light cone, his damage is significantly higher, like astronomically higher, but it's not to the point where you need his signature light cone to make him work. We have a perfectly working, perfectly good uh, free-to-play light cone. We can use relic stats that we farm for Akron or we farm for our Ruan Mei or that we farm for um, our, our uh, Harmony Trailblazer to put it on this you can use riddle in arena on him you can use inner sal soto on him you can use uh kingdom of banditry on him you can actually also use uh space ceiling station on him and that'll be good if you don't have this set everybody does the weekly boss so you should have this set in there the damage is probably going to be a little bit lower but it's still going to be comparable it's probably going to be around like the 200k mark and if you have mixed pieces between this and this you can use you can pretty much use any of this stuff that you have you he doesn't require a specific build you know just to say that he does have an optimal build but he doesn't require it to do uh, at least 200k damage in any given rotation so so hopefully this video give you guys a little bit more insight on how to uh, play and how to build boot hill he comes out in about two weeks so uh stay tuned for that i'm really really excited about boot hill so hopefully you guys too uh i'll see you guys on the stream and until next time guys see ya